going to be showing you how to create a tank filling animation in the Visu Plus Express program. Right now, I have a new project open with one blank basic screen. Our first step to start this animation is going to be to get an actual tank onto our screen. The way we're going to do that is through our symbol library. It's over here on the right hand side of the screen, but if you don't see yours pinned to the side of the screen, you can come up to the view tab at the top of the screen, click on that, hover over the drop down arrow, and you'll see symbol libraries here, and you can click on that and it will open up our library. Here in the symbols library tab there are many different subcategories that have many different graphics in here that we can choose from but for our purpose today we're going to come to material handling and you can see within this category there are many different tanks in here we're just going to choose a simple tank right here so we're going to click and drag that tank onto our screen and drop it we have the ability to resize and reposition it by clicking and dragging so let's make it a little bit bigger here so it's easier to see and center it up a little bit. Now that we have a tank on our screen we're going to add a vertical slider that will fill and empty the tank. So we're going to come over to the right hand side of our screen to our toolbox, open that up and almost at the bottom you'll see a tab that says slider, sliders, gauges, and meters. We're going to expand that and right at the top you're going to see vertical slider. We're going to click and drag that on the screen and drop it where we would like. Just like the tank, we have the ability to move it with our pointer and click and drag to resize it to whatever size we would like. Again, we're going to make it a little bit bigger here. <clears throat> with this slider, we're going to double click on it, and that's going to open up the properties. Right now, we're going to get rid of the scale that's on it. For our purposes, we don't really need it since we're going to be creating an anim animation. So under scale settings and our properties, you can see show scale is checked. We're going to uncheck that and come up and save our changes with the green check mark. <clears throat> and now you see it removes our scale. Now that we have both the tank and the slider onto the screen, we're going to create a rectangle onto the tank that will allow us to fill and empty as we move the slider. So if we come over to toolbox, up at the very top you're going to see basic shapes. We expand that and you'll see the third one down is rectangle. We can click on that and again drag and drop it right onto our tank and it will create a rectangle. And just like the slider and tank, we have the ability to resize it and move it around with our mouse. So I'll make this a little bit bigger here and center it up in the tank. And now that we have that the proper size, and we have everything on our screen that we need, we're going to create a variable that will connect the vertical slider to the tank. So if we come over into our Project Explorer, about halfway down we see Real-Time Database. We right click on that and we hit New Variable. We're going to call our variable Tank Fill and we hit OK. Now you can see that real-time DB has expanded and under the variables tab we see our variable tank fill. We're going to first click and drag the variable to our slider and now we're going to click and drag the variable to our rectangle. When we drop it on the rectangle we see that a dynamic type option menu comes up and for our purpose today we're going to come down and choose gradual filling. So we select that and we hit OK. Now that we have a variable connecting the two, we can come up and start our project simulation, save our changes, we hit OK, and we can now see that as we raise and lower the vertical slider, the tank animation raise, raises and lowers with it. Now we can come up here and exit out of simulation mode back to design mode, and what we're going to show now is how we can change the color of the fill if we please. So if we double click on the tank, or I'm sorry, the rectangle in our tank, it's going to bring up our properties. Right now under dynamics, you see if I expand it, I have the gradual filling option. However, at the very top right here, you'll see a switch that says toggle easy mode. If that is turned on, the gradual filling option will not be available under dynamics. So make sure that your toggle easy mode is turned off so we have the option of gradual filling. Under the option of the gradual filling, you'll see it three down, edit filling colors, and we have our three option dots here. If we open that menu, we can now change our values and our filling colors. Right now, they have the default ones in, so we'll click on them and remove all of those. And we can add our own now. So if we come up here and hit add, you'll see that for the first one, we can put in the value for the threshold color. We're gonna have from zero to 25, and we'll make that color red. We hit OK 
you see now the value is 25 with a red color. We'll come in and add another and we'll go from 25 to 50 and we can make that yellow. We'll hit OK. From 50 to 75 we can make that color a blue. Hit OK. And we'll add one more from 75 to 100. We'll make that green. We hit OK. And now that we have our four different colors you'd like in here, we hit OK again. And within our properties, we come up to the green check mark, apply our changes. And now, if we come into our pro project simulation, save our changes. Hit OK. We now see that the tank fill has our color as it is filling up and emptying that we just changed. We can exit back into design mode. And that is how to create a simple tank filling animation in Visu Plus Express.